there are over 3,000 editions of the Haggadah. Maybe about 1,000 of them haven't been illustrated. Uh, many have been illustrated. And they've been illustrated with all kinds of themes. The first, among the first illustrated Haggadahs that are still in existence is one from around 1300 from Germany, the Bird's Head Haggadah, which was uh, because of the second commandment uh, about making graven images, uh, there were various ways that that commandment was followed throughout history. And so in this Haggadah, instead of depicting people with human heads, uh, they're depicted with bird's heads wearing the Jewish hats that Jews had to wear in the Middle Ages. Until I started to work in color, my work was rarely cheerful. It was, um, it was about persecutions. I illustrated the Book of Lamentations with the various disasters that took place on the ninth of the, of the Hebrew month of Av when the two temples were said to have been destroyed. And I did many drawings on the Holocaust, and I illustrated works by Elie Wiesel in black and white for a series of limited edition leather-bound volumes of his work. But when I started to work in color, it, things became um, more uplifting and cheery. And, but there is a part of the Haggadah, there's a very important section that says, in every generation, men rose up to destroy us. And the, uh, in, what I wanted to do with that image was to show the various nations. And the way that I depicted it is there has, in, in doing these images, it's important to have some sense of composition that unites uh, various images that are not necessarily united. So what I did was I, I drew each of these nations on an open book as if the open book representing the Haggadah. In looking for symbols that are related to spring, because although I think there are many Jews who believe that the first month of the Hebrew year is when Rosh Hashanah is, but it's not the first, that's not the first month of the Hebrew year. The first month of the Hebrew year is Nisan, when Passover is, and it's spring. And so I want to have images with spring and a important image of spring are flowers. So I have flowers growing out of menorah. I have, I have the, the fruits of Israel. I have two pomegranates which, with Torah shields. And the reason for that is that it's the tradition that a pomegranate has 613 seeds representing the 613 mitzvot or commandments of the Torah. So that each pomegranate is a mini Torah. It's hard to, um, to symbolize peace in a drawing other than the cliches of olive branches, doves, and so on. So what, for, for next year in Jerusalem, I drew an open book as if it's the Haggadah, and towards the end of the Haggadah, which is read from right to left, because Hebrew is from right to left, there's a, there's a drawing of uh, Jerusalem, the old city of Jerusalem. And then around the Haggadah are different villages representing these, the villages from all over the world that are waiting for next year in Jerusalem. <laughs>